Okay, here's the final diorama. I made this a while back and I actually still have this one as well. And this was a, a build that I did uh, when I was in my Russian winters campaign phase and I had, I did the, I had done the other dioramas with the snow and stuff like that. And this is a little earlier, obviously, in Russia, um, Operation Typhoon. Uh, and, and, you know, Dragon made decent figures here with the Paul Hauser figure in the coat in the photograph that I've shown. And it, the Dragon half track is exactly the one he's using, the command version. And I've got the decals, I, I scalped them from different sets to match the photograph as well. Um, so the, the figures are painted all in acrylics. I really, you know, took some time on these and, and I, I really worked on, you know, faces and, you know, and I, I took more time and I, I said this in my last video that I wanted to make sure that I spend more time on each figure. And, and that's what I did a little bit better on these, uh, you know, to get this SS camouflage done correctly you got to do it so small if you look really close it's just it's very tiny and you've got to look at photos original photos and then see the scaling of each pattern like on an arm or a, a sleeve on the arm um, maybe like a pocket the helmet you know see that the size of the patterns and uh, that's what you have to do um, but this was a really fun build. The sticks here, I found some, some plants, kind of small trees that were dying out during the winter and I broke the, the twigs off of them and I've glued them in place here, uh, to create that fence that you always see in, in Russia. Uh, and, and it, it turned out really well. And the snow is just the baking soda. Uh, put in place and then glued down with uh, watered down white glue, uh, water, and sometimes I, I most of the time I add a little bit of alcohol to it because it breaks up the uh, the tension and helps it absorb better. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is a cool little diorama and it, it kind of tells a story of the uniforms and troops that were part of Paul Hauser's uh, platoon here and. Um, He's got a map that I, I printed out uh, off the internet. And I like doing that kind of stuff because it looks really realistic. It's a World War II map. and um, He's got that folded up there. Um, my last minute thing was to add this guy in the hatch. Um, yeah, it would have been really cool if I could have converted him up in that hatch the way he is in the photograph. But uh, this was good. And... Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's these are fun, small little scenes that, you know, this is history here. Um, the this guy is just from my spare parts box, just the upper torso and the head. Uh, this figure is from a separate dragon kit, uh, uh, SS troopers, uh, winter early. And this guy comes with Paul Hauser in the dragon set. Um, but yeah, you know, before the snow, there's static grass added, um, and then uh, everything's painted in, in place. And then later the snow was put over the grass and here you can see where the, the vehicle is driven over it. And I've kind of dirtied it up here a little bit. Um, but yeah, this was a, a fun build. Everything came out pretty much the way I wanted it. I really like the weathering on the, uh, a half track and um, it was uh, built on another plastic plastic uh, box <laughs> where I find these you can see some of the stuff underneath I used to uh, build everything up uh, I put this plastic and then there's foam and then on top of that I do magic sculpt and uh, put it in place uh, to finish off the uh, top layer uh, and then the vehicle's painted in acrylics, 
Uh, I started at black and then just worked my way up with highlights, uh, with the uh, Panzer Gray, you know, add a little bit of white to the uh, base color as I go. Um, weathering, if you've watched my other vehicles, all the same, artist oil, wash, uh, some pastels here and there, either wet or dry. And uh, the snow on here is just mixed with white glue and a little container and I'll just dab it where I want it while it's still wet with the white glue on it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, this diorama. Uh, it's the last one I think I have that I haven't produced a video to show everyone. So uh, this is it for this one. So everything else is gonna be new. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I know it didn't have a lot of build in it, but I wanted to at least show it off, show and tell. You know, this, this kind of stuff reminds me back when I was in the uh, Tampa Scale Modelers. And, uh, we used to show off our, our work, and uh, it was fun to tell everybody how you did it, things like that. So um, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and seeing the final results. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and appreciate everybody uh, liking and commenting like you do um i'll answer any questions since there isn't a lot of uh build uh photos in here but uh i'll answer anything any questions you have so please ask once again thanks again